Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on the Space Couch today, I popped into Forbidden Planet in Croydon at lunchtime, and I acquired this, the Imperial Royal Guard, sorry about the glare there, which I was very, very happy to acquire, because it's meant to be coming out for ages, and I had never seen it, and it's finally out, number 38 in the series, Twenty five ninety nine, so not too bad, that's the standard price for the Forbidden Planet range. The Force Spirit Obi-Wan Kenobi, for instance, was like $34.99, which is just ridiculous. And uh, I certainly wouldn't consider it at that price, as I've already got Kenobi. But this, I'm very happy to have acquired. So let's just see what it says in the back first. There is the back. It's a nice um, image of the guard there. Resplendent in crimson robes and armour, the Imperial Royal Guard protected the Emperor. Secrecy, secrecy shrouded the guard, with rumours abounding about the Sentinel's background and combat abilities. Capabilities. Nice. So, let's just bring it up. Um, bit odd looking here, isn't it, with the cape there you see on the back. It almost looks like a hunchback. So let's just pop him out. Oh, this has got ties on it. Unusual for the Black Series. Let's see if we get this out. And now the feet. Oh, this is frustrating. That's one, and there is the other. Feet have gone a bit funny there, as you can see. So, his other arm will be under there, yes. So let's just straighten his legs up and have a proper look at him. Very nice. Very famous from, of course, um, Return of the Jedi. And while, as we've seen in some literature and stuff, it's like they always looked like they could handle themselves. You never actually saw it happen. Certainly not in the films. We have seen it in uh, the comics, uh, the Lando comic. The two guards that are guarding the um, Sith Shrine on the Imperialis. And in the most recent Darth Vader Imperial Machine, where he comes back to see the Emperor, um, these two are standing guard while Emperor's talking to Tarkin and Masamida. And then you see them turn towards Vader would be. Then they're both thrown against the window very hard and, I assume, killed. Um, I would have thought they would have been killed anyway, even if they'd survived, because they failed their emperor. And we see them pop up many, many times in the background in the other Darth Vader comic surrounding the emperor. But yes, it's a very, very nice figure. Let's just bring out the Force Pike. See if we can figure out how to pop that in. Not sure how this will go. I know what it should look like when they're holding it, but if it will, that's uh, it's more like a lightsaber there, isn't it? It should really just be straight up like so, I think. I haven't really figured out how you do some of these uh, figures on the Black Series and holding them. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to go. Uh, I should just have to have it like this, perhaps. <laughs> Let's see if I can maybe... Get it further in. Let's let go. Really doesn't want to go. If I turn the hand a bit, no, that doesn't work. Well, if I turn the arm, it needs a bit more. Or maybe I'll just in across the chest like so. Not very happy with that. I shall have to try and figure out how it's supposed to be held. Let me see. Let's just see if we can, what else we can see under the cloth. So here is the rest, I'll just pop it over, like so, for now. And we can see very nice detailing underneath with the, um, the greaves here. And this is a nice deeper shade of red than the crimson. Uh, here's the belt and the, I don't know what that is. Um, then you see the armour, pauldrons rather, and the back. And he has a holster because he's doing his ghost thing there, because he does have 
a blaster. So let's just stand him up, if he will stand properly. And bring out that blaster and slip that into there. This is a tiny little blaster. <laughs> Look at this. It's a baby blaster. I'm sure it packs quite a punch though. So let's see. That's fixed on there, I believe. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, there is the rest. See? Very nice difference. The leg's a bit funny. Very nice differences in the red, of course. Yeah, so, let's see if we can do anything about this. Hmm. I do need lessons from someone who is good at uh, posing these figures. The legs are really terrible on this. Look at this. They just go all wonky. So let's see. He does stand with his force pike. But yes, fantastic piece. Classic helmet. We also see in... Um, Poe Dameron in the Terex flashback, I believe there's an Imperial helmet, part of his collection. And in the Bloodline novel, one of the plot devices is there is an auction of an Imperial Guard's helmet. Very rare item, very highly sought after. So yes, Imperial Royal Guard finally acquired. That just leaves um, R5D4, uh, I think, doesn't it? I'm sure I'll get him in due course. But yes, for now, that is just our look at the Imperial Royal Guard. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion or upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.